The campaign you're about to listen to has a final episode that will be recorded live at Con Bravo the weekend of July 28th to the 30th. The exact time of the panel will be announced on Twitter at Dice Warriors, and we'll see you there for the last episode of Apocalypse World. Meanwhile, today on the Terrible Warriors, among the ruins of an old city, the steeples of sanctuary rise above as a beacon of light and safety to those around it. But the security of Sanctuary has been put at risk by a growing number of the old gang. Harassing the denizens of Sanctuary, stealing their supplies, the hardholder of Sanctuary has sent out a team to deal with them one way or the other. Ah, but the carefully laid plans are easily laid to waste. This is the third episode of Sanctuary, and the team sent out to deal with old gang, they are your terrible warriors. Welcome back to the Terrible Warriors. I'm your master of ceremonies, Justin Eacock. We are playing Apocalypse World in a campaign I guess we're calling Sanctuary. Uh, here <laughs> in uh, on the Tuesday campaign, we are two weeks to go until Con Bravo. And on Thursday, our Edmonton crew is also playing Apocalypse World. I don't know what game they're playing because we're recording them separately. In fact, we're recording this game before they even started theirs. So maybe they'll be referencing some of our stuff. But the... Uh, uh, at the end of this campaign, after the fourth episode, that's not where our story is going to end. It is going to end with a fifth episode that we are recording live at Con Bravo at a panel at a time that, if we find out, we'll put it out on Twitter, or maybe I even mention it in the intro because we found out at that point. But at the time of recording, we don't know yet. It'll just be sometime that weekend. And that's fine because you can just buy a weekend pass, come out for the entire convention, and just make sure you come to our panel and listen to the fifth and final episode of our Apocalypse World campaign that will bring both Toronto and Edmonton crews together at the same table where we will resolve both of those stories somehow in the same setting. Uh, we are picking up where we left off last week. Uh, this, this, the hardhold of sanctuary is in a state of want. There is anxiety. There is idleness. There is a delivery that never arrived. And there is a gang that left town and has been harassing them from the edges, stealing stuff, causing noise. And as that continues to ramp up... <laughs> I mean, the delivery technically arrived. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> it's before, something, well, yes. Yeah, well, well, I'm saying it in order, Connell. Uh, is, is it too late to send, uh, return to sender? So when our team well, was... This is the delivery. When our team was put together to sent out to take care of the old guard, uh, or, or the old gang, uh, the delivery van did arrive, but just the van in the back of it, it was a delivery of severed heads. Uh, Look, that, where, was, that was what I ordered. Where it came from, it. why, we don't know the, 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 the answers to those questions. All we know <laughs> is that our team has not yet returned to Sanctuary. They are out, ready to ambush uh, Hastings and, and his gang, uh, and uh, hopefully bring back supplies for uh, Goldman's arm, as well as um, uh, make the, the land safe again for the people of Sanctuary to go out and continue their work. Uh, <laughs> I can just see they're like, oh, Let's, man, it's a shipment of heads, and then Pity comes out. It's just like, oh, they're here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's reintroduce what, our players. What did you guys buy? What did you buy? <laughs> uh, at my left, you're right. We have playing our savvy head, currently out in the field, heading to the gold gang. I am Toronto's greatest supervillain and evil genius, Dr. Tara Watt. And uh, our gun lugger, who's actually leading this particular mission. I'm leading... I'm Tom, he is an evil genius white from the show Weird Video Games. And back in Sanctuary, our hard holder trying to keep everything together. I'm Steve Saylor, or commonly known on YouTube as Blind Gamer. And the angel, who's also out on this mission to take out the old gang. Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Cassie D20 Love Chew. And I'm playing Magnolia Stone, the angel. And, Hi, Cassie, and returning to the table since uh, she was there for uh, our, our world building, but missed the last episode because you were getting a badass tattoo done. Uh, we have joining back here at the table. Poison, and I think Justin's gonna make me stand up to talk into his mic now. No, it's fine. No. Uh, oh. It's fine. I just want to. <laughs> I mean, unless you Making wanted to. Making life stand up. difficult since 2012. Oh. And you're playing the brainer. I'm playing the brainer, and I'm gonna be extra mean tonight because, God, my arm hurts. <laughs> so, 
Uh, at the end of the session, we were supposed to ask some questions. While we're on the road heading out to the gig, you all get a chance here as players to tell other players. Uh, we'll go around the table. Um, the brain won't have anything to add because she wasn't in the episode. So first, with the savvy head, does anyone at this table know you better than when it, it started in the last hour? I don't think so. Then if the answer is no, no does anyone here at the table know you less? No. No. Someone needs to go up and down, just oh, okay. by one dot. Um, so either someone gets a plus one history. Now, we did have the angel come and offer to do help and join you as the assistant. That's true, yes. I would say that I would know her better because she's been helping me out with my project. So take one more history with uh, with Connell, with, uh, with hey. Goldman. Does that take it that up to four? That puts me at four. So reset that to one and mark experience. Well done, everybody. That was some good work there from the angel. Hey. Oh, Gunlucker. Does anyone here at this table know you better in the last hour? Now you got you had a nice exchange there with the job, getting the gig from the hard holder. Um, mm. But if you feel like maybe people understand you less, you can pick someone who understands you even less. <laughs> the first question one, is, does anyone really know happened. you better? I in the last hour. You and Bishop were working together a little bit. Maybe that might help. Yeah, you know what? Um, you did find out that I, I was... I think, tr- yeah. I think I do know him a little better because... Um, One well, more, he knows you better. This is the question. Knows Who knows better. you better? Because yeah. um, you're you're assigning history to someone else. Huh. Simon it doesn't knows. have to be overthought. It's just a number on a sheet for a mechanic in a game. You can just gift it to know. a player. Doc. So, okay, so the doc <laughs> has gotten to know the gun lugger a little better. You're patching old wounds. Yes. Maybe the two of you are going to be friends again. So mark <laughs> yes. one more history there uh, with uh, with Kenneth. Kenneth. Until the next time <laughs> that he leaves you at a bar. <laughs> You're fine. Uh, hard holder. Does yes. anyone here in the room know you better after the last hour? I made a decision for me. <laughs> um, well, it's either... Or do you think it's lonely at the top and people know you less? I, I, I was going to say it's either Cassie knows me less because I didn't... Uh, I didn't really get to know her yet. Uh, or Tom knows me better because now he knows that I am trying to rebuild trust again. The yeah. decision is yours. What do you do? I wouldn't say it's necessarily less with me because we, like, we didn't... But just because we didn't interact. Yeah, we mean didn't interact. Yeah, it doesn't okay. mean that I... But like. You, you spend less, less time with you. people. You just stop l- knowing them as well. You get you get less of a read with them. Just sure. it's, it doesn't necessarily mean how long or how well you've known someone. It's how much of a read you have. Them I think, you know what? I got to know... Uh, the lugger, the gun lugger, okay. bit better. So. so go ahead. Uh, no, you don't do anything, Steve. This oh. is your gifting. The oh, gun lugger yes. knows you better. Uh, okay. So okay. Yes. That yeah, that makes sense. To zero. So that brings you to a zero. And then finally, uh, Maggie Magnolia, the angel. Uh, yes. Does anyone at this table know you better after the last hour? Uh, I would perhaps say um, Dr. Gold. Because uh, I, you know, I went up and was like, "Hey, buddy, you need help, don't you?" Okay. <laughs> I heard you're you're sticking shit into your body again. You need help, don't you? So- <laughs> same old, same old, Connell. God. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> it's actually for so, realsies. He, that's uh, a story, and he's sticking with it. Yeah, no, I like that. Okay, like so that. go ahead and add extra history, Connell, on your sheet for the angel for Maggie. Oh, okay. And uh, the. Last uh, bit here, just at the start of the session now, um, the history numbers have changed on the page and the brainer is now back in the table. Who knows the savvy head the most? So, well, so I was at, I went up to four. You went up to four. So now you're at, essentially you're at five. Yeah. Well, no, I went, I went up to four. You're at four. Does anyone have, no no one got four. So would you like to change the highlighted stat? Uh, uh. Oh, and by the way, you now get a hold to get a secret off the savvy head, remember? Oh, cool, So you yeah. can mark that down at some point. Maybe when you're on the road while you're heading out and you're mm-hmm. sitting together, you kind of spend a little time and you tell the angel something that no one else knows about your character. Uh, Want to know how I lost this leg? That is actually what you <laughs> Why was I got these scars. <laughs> uh, would you like to change the highlighted was it, stat cast? Was it from Batman? From Batman. <laughs> his, his highlighted stats are freezies. hard and cool. Would you like to change one of them? Oh, they're cool and sharp sure. right now. Oh, sorry. Cool and sharp. Yeah. I read that wrong. Um... No, let's stick with that. Yeah, okay. no, that's fine. I like him more yeah. time. Um, would you like to tell how you lost that leg while you're on um, the truck? Yeah. Um, Goldman used to have a little sister. Oh, no. Oh. Shit. Yeah. 
This and is full metal. Does Maggie remind, wait, you, is, yeah, wait, does Maggie remind you a little bit of your little sister? Was she an ankle biter? <laughs> <laughs> is she a whole leg Thank off biter? <laughs> uh, thanks, see ya, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'll just I'll just see myself. <laughs> he played a game, and when he says it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg, <laughs> da da <cha>. Shit. <laughs> he wasn't kidding. <laughs> he wasn't kidding. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Sammy Head's having a moment, everybody. Oh, yeah, I know. It's it's uh, when the both of them were much younger. There was uh, an attack by a raider gang and an explosion and during like the fire in the building that he was in he wasn't fast enough or strong enough to save his sister and that is something that he still carries with himself oh connell i have to ask you some details about this gang yep uh, well, i thought this was your secret yeah <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, no, yeah but this, i'm the mc and i know all what 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 kind of stuff did this gang wear how do they uh, dressed up this gang wears old like shitty hazmat suits and they light shit on fire wow, wow. This fucking went somewhere. Yeah, no, like top of my head, I'm like, these guys are like basically oh, the pyros. Are they from like? TF, TF2. I was gonna say, are they like the, uh, the 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 disposal people in the division who just go around burning? Did anyone play the division? Yeah. No. Remember, remember the ones with the flamethrower, Steve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm yeah. thinking of. Yeah. Well, like, they just they, go around just. Purging. They wear like a bunch of big suits and stuff like that, but it's a raider gang, and they go around and they burn stuff and then take whatever's like left over. They burn and, the lands. Yeah, and that's the thatch of cottages. And that is the reason why <laughs> Savvy Head doesn't know this because he's not there. But the delivery vehicle was burnt to a crisp, and all the heads in the back are, are, are uh, charred. Like, no, are charred oh! <laughs> you said they were fresh. They were in the brain. <laughs> yeah, freshly I burned. D- freshly burned. It's called a retcon. You can I feel didn't it. ask for extra so, yeah. crispy. <laughs> So, sorry, and that's the reason that forward. Goldman's constantly <laughs> focused on improving the arm and the leg that he lost because he wants to make sure that in the future, if he loses or is at a point where he could lose someone he cares about, he will be strong enough to save them that time. Aww. Aww. So sad. Aww. <laughs> okay, so uh, we go to the gun lugger. Who knows the gun lugger the most right now? Uh, Brainer, don't forget you've got um, um, uh, three. three. I still me. have four. Yes, I do. Oh, he has four, including still got the, the four. So yeah, he still went. Well, he still got four plus. Um, I'm at plus three now. That that was, that just happened. Now it's at one still, right? We yeah. we did, I, I I let it no, carry that was over. Bef- yeah, that was from before. Yeah. So at the beginning of this session, we'll have it as a one, just okay. because right. Bree's got a three on Nelson. Sure. Hi. I've also so, got a three. Oh, you've also mm. got a three. Yeah. Mm. I mean, you can go with it because you're actually traveling with him. Actually you probably know what you need. Would you like to change his highlighted stat? I like cool and hard. Okay. <laughs> Ladies. Right, we're going to stick with that's it. That's me. Uh, who, knows, <laughs> who knows Simon Bishop the most? The hard holder. <laughs> We've got the Nobody. haters got a plus two. Got a two. Nobody. Does anyone, have, anyone beat a two? I, I have... Oh, well, I also have a two, but... Wait, but you are... You're there in Sanctuary. There. So, Brainer, yeah. the, the highlighted stat on the hard holder, uh, what do you have, Steve? Uh, Two highlighted stats. Hard and sharp. Would you like to change one of those highlighted stats to a different one? Mm, yeah, I think I want, instead of hard, I think I want cool. Okay. Given okay. the situation. And I'm going to move sharp to hard. So you're still going to keep oh, hard? okay. Because the MC cool. gets to change the second one. Because I still want to see you get experience when you use your leadership skills. Okay. Cool. And uh, Angel. Who knows the Angel the most? Maggie. Anyone have more than one? Uh, nope. I have plus two. You have two? Anyone have more than two? Okay. So once again, do you want to change the highlighted stat? Uh, I want to keep Just, it. Yes or no? Okay. And then finally to the Brainer. Who knows the Brainer the most? I have a uh, plus three. Anyone beat a three? Okay. So this That's actually, this we do have to change <laughs> the stat because Bree never got a highlighted. Yeah, so which, which stat would you like to uh, put at her highest? Um, weird. <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah, thinking weird, because I'm probably gonna need that at this point. Okay. More and the, weird. <laughs> and the MC will highlight sharp. Yeah, it was it was gonna be sharper, uh, weird. So, I'm, I'll be cool with that. Okay. So now, start of session. <laughs> I actually I'm going to work with this. Uh, roll me your wealth skill. Roll me my wealth. Because <laughs> the, at least the politics have changed around town. Okay, so that's still hard. Okay. Come on. Give me a good one. Uh, seven plus two, so nine. So on a on a seven to nine, what does uh, it say? You have a surplus, but choose one want. So your surplus is to barter. So when you're in surplus, you have more things to barter. What's happened is, you've shown some action. You've shown some real leadership. You sent mm. people out to deal with the old gang. The anxiety has dropped. People have stopped hoarding. 
So and now, that has actually now freed up some of the wealth that's in the town. People are starting to trade again. So you now just you should just have under want you've got your tags and under surplus you have two barter. Yes. When you're in a state of surplus, you have two barter to spend okay. as hard holder. But Good if thing. your hard hold is not in surplus, you don't have that barter to spend. It's just me. Yeah, okay. Because okay. everyone's hoarding onto their stuff. Yes. Okay. So anyway, the anxiety has lifted. But you still have to pick out of anxiety and idleness. I'm gonna pick idleness, if you don't mind, as your as the as the want that you still have. Yeah, because the, fa- because the manufacturer it, hasn't officially opened yet. No one can go anywhere no because go you're yet. still under siege. Yeah. But you know we're going to be home by Christmas. So they're still fearful, a little bit, but the anxiety is kind of yeah. So people down. are still. No one's yeah. got anything to do, so yeah. you're still dealing with the petty crime and yes. and and you know idle hands, people sitting around. Okay. But uh, but the anxiety has lifted and the barter has returned. Okay. Um, and then once again, uh, Connell, checking in. We're going to roll bone feel. Yep, I was gonna say I got my dice up. Yeah, and and also you we're gonna check in on uh, the status of your project. Oh yeah. <laughs> While you're away. <laughs> While I'm on the road, it does have interchangeable parts. So. Yep. Oh please. Okay. That's a six. Um. And uh, bone feel plus, is on a hard. It's a weird. Uh, plus, plus weird, weird. So eight. So you get eight. So yeah. once again, you get that hold that either you and I can spend to already be there with all the equipment you need. Um. And uh, and and your project is ongoing. You've got you're you're on your way to maybe get that Gatling gun. Yeah, <laughs> I just gotta, gotta get gotta get parts and a Gatling gun and some other stuff. Hey, let's check in with the Brainer because we missed out on her last week, and she's been in town. Uh, she's now heard what's been going on. You you've been caught up with the story as is. Um, we're not going to see what you're doing this morning. We're going to find out what you're doing this evening. The, the the team has gone off to go deal with the gang. Hardhold is up in his office. Barters return to the city. Everyone's getting a little bit. Maybe, no, are they? Are they outside? There's a little bit. You're you're outside dealing with the delivery vehicle, yeah. or or whenever the time. Maybe we can cut cut ahead oh, a few okay. hours. Sure. Uh, the the feel in the streets got a little bit more. <sighs> they're breathing again, and and you know in the it, down in, uh, in in Caesar's Wolf, the uh, the 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 local bar in in sanctuary uh they uh there, there's a little you know party that he's like hey i found the uh, alcohol reserve here and we can start uh, drinking again um where is pity this evening in sanctuary oh you say they're drinking at they're drinking at the pub are they mm-hmm. uh, then pity is in the corner Darkest, darkest corner in the back, like actually wedged into like the corner of the booth. <laughs> Strider from <whatever>. yes, <laughs> yeah. But he wasn't in a corner; and he was back to a window. That's a bad true. idea. And, uh, <laughs> Stupid move, rookie move. <laughs> Lieutenant Harris, who is uh, currently in charge of the uh, patron gang, um, he walks in. He's like, he's got a pale face from the things he saw. He was the one who discovered the heads. Oh, um, did he? And uh, he goes right up to uh, to to Rempel, the uh, the bartender, and uh, <laughs> Rempel, Rempel, Andrew Rempel, Andrew Rempel, the bartender. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. yes, okay. Andrew <laughs> Rempel, Andrew Rempel. Rempel. <laughs> and he just like he just needs something hard. He needs something stiff. He just needs a good stiff drink. Uh, you know, drink to forget because wait. fuck, he doesn't want to have to remember what he just saw today. Okay, wait. Sorry, hold on. Uh, Andrew Rumpel's online handle, I believe, is Volsar. Yes. Yeah, I believe uh, that is yeah. Volsar. Yeah. If, we Volsar. Haven't, if we haven't named the bar yet, can we call it the Vol Bar? <laughs> <laughs> I called it the Caesar's Wolf. Oh yeah, we did. Oh dang it. Okay. Well, that's our unofficial name. For it. <laughs> no, 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 no. So he used to run a bar before, and he has a sign above the bar that has that Volbar says on it. Bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we he go. He just puts it up when he's working. Yes, he yes, to know up. that so this Rempel is, is in charge. So, Brainer, yeah. you're you're in the corner watching the room. Harris arrives, orders a a a, 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 a hard drink, and um, you got you got the bartender there. He's offering it, and they're you know he's asking like like you know wants to know what's going on. People are hearing rumors. <laughs> what's going on with the delivery? No one's actually officially put out the word. People are getting excited about the delivery van showing up and then <laughs> nothing happened. Uh, what, what's, uh, what's the word on the street, Harris? And, and he's talking in a hushed tone in a way that like only you know, the bartender's hearing him. Mm-hmm. Everyone else is around. The, the place has gotten kind of noisy because, again, people are getting quite excited that uh, you know, the old gang might finally be dealt with and you know, we can get back to, to life in sanctuary. So Pity leaves the corner and kind of, um, you know, meanders over to the bar, not particularly beelining for it, just making their way through the crowd. Um, 
you know, brushing up against people a couple of times because the violator glove means skin contact mm -hmm. allows me. And of course, you're always wearing it. it yeah, the... Because, uh, of course, you are. The in-brain <laughs> puppet strings, if I decided I wanted them. Um, but, you know, it's nice to keep sharp. No, you can still do it in the crowd. Uh, <laughs> and then walks up <laughs> behind our newcomer at the bar. Lieutenant Harris. Yes, Lieutenant Harris. Um, and it can... I overhear anything yeah, when I approach. What's he at saying? At this point, he's already kind of gotten through the gory details. Just like, I just hope I never see anything like that again. Oh, good. I'd like to know what that is. So wait, he's, <laughs> he's out and out. He's out and out telling everyone what No, is. he's just telling the bartender. But she overhears it as she walks oh, behind okay. him. Um, All she hears is, I hope I never see that again. <laughs> just her, her face sidles up. It <laughs> just lights up. Hello. Um, so I would actually like to have pity walk up and brush the back of a hand oh, across so ever so, creepy. yes, ever so, so creepily creepy. down the back of his shoulder. And he's already had this strong drink, and so he just kind of like... It, he doesn't even feel he it. He doesn't... I mean, if he does, it's subconsciously. Yeah. <laughs> because it immediately takes this effect as soon as that happens, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, uh, so skin-to-skin -skin contact instead of uh, time and intimacy gives me in-brain puppet strings. Yeah. Uh, so I roll plus weird. Seven. Seven plus and then eight, nine. And, and then mark highlighted. experience because you rolled a weird roll. Mm. Nice. Nice. So, and then Small. it says on a seven Small. to nine hold one. <laughs> Yeah, um, so you get a hold, and what are you spending the hold on? So you get to implant a command. Yeah, so I can plant and the a command hold is in his spent. mind. If they don't follow the command, you can spend the hold to either inflict harm or take a negative one to the roll. Mm -hmm. The harm is uh, armor piercing, so of course it is because it's in their brain. And I think, no, this one doesn't deal with making noise. That's another move. Um so you can you can give them the command that you plant in their mind, and no matter the circumstance, you can spend the hold to inflict one harm, probably because they haven't followed through on the command. Mm -hmm. So what command are you implanting in Harris's brain? My command is just that I want him to come tell me what he saw. So you make your way back to the and table. I, yeah, and I go back wait, to my corner. And, and, and he, he's looking over his shoulder, and he's, like, noticing you, even though you're in the dark corner. He knows you're there. And he orders two <laughs> drinks from Rempel. And he goes, bring Come it over to my here. table. Can, 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 can she read? Can, can I describe what's happening? Because we're 22 minutes in. We're going to run Sorry. out of time. Um, you sit down at the table. <laughs> What was your question, Steve? Uh, it was just going to be, can she read minds? Because could, that could be a scene that, that what, she, what she sees is what happened. Not with this move. Okay. All right. That's all. That's all. I'm good. So, you make your way back to the table. Harris orders two drinks. He makes his way over to the table. Without even saying hello or acknowledging you, he's, his eyes have kind of glossed over. And he starts, he takes a drink and he starts to describe the van that arrived, crashed into the wall at full speed. Him and the guard watch went out the door with Bishop, and he was the one who opened up the van. He takes another drink, and he closes his eyes, and he doesn't. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to remember it. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to remember it. Would you like to spend that hold? Yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> <laughs> and as he puts his hands up to his eyes, he pulls it down, and his tear is coming out as blood and he's taken that one harm and he starts to like he's got like this migraine as he starts to describe just the burned heads who does that what happened the food is gone the the the, the everything's gone the materials are gone corbett the delivery man he they search through the heads they we don't think it was him but who the hell knows at least there was no body uh, and and mm. but but as he's doing it, he's getting because of the harm. He's he's starting to like because then he's crying and he's crying blood. He's saying this quite loudly, and the whole room and the Caesar's Wolf has gone quiet. That little Aww. party is going on. They're all listening now to the current leader of the Town Watch. What do you mean there are heads? Where's our food? 
What's, I thought the delivery had arrived. <laughs> and some of the other people in the bar, and Andrew's telling everyone to keep down, settle down, everyone relax. It's supposed to be a party. And uh, and a few people were like, oh, Harris. And he's pu- they shove him. And it's like, tell us what's going on. I thought you guys were in control here. Whose heads were in there? Was my head in there? <laughs> <laughs> there was, uh, and, and they're going uh, because uh, there, there, there are people that don't live in sanctuary that live outside that visit. Like, whose heads were they? Where are they from? Are there, are, is, is Orchard okay? What's going on? Orchard is a settlement off to the west, um, or to the east. Sorry, the rusted wheel is to the west, uh, and uh, uh, and 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 the whole room is now turning into a panic. And you see, like a crowd is now forming around that door. Dead. You don't have a, an escape anymore, as I everyone d- is getting up I, in close. I do you like a panic? <laughs> um, hmm, no easy way out, huh? The uh, one of the uh, one of the union guys from the manufacturing plant. Um, gonna pick out a name here from the uh, from the sheets they actually give you because we've yeah, gone through it. Uh, Rothschild. Rothschild goes and points out to, uh, to, to Pity. And they go, you know, I bet you're behind all this. You're always hanging around being all mysterious and scary. What are you doing with so, those heads? So, so, I mean, that would be the logical conclusion, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, Pity, yeah, Pity stands up and uh, walks straight over to him and just grabs him by the chin. Um, and... I'm trying to decide whether I want to do in-brain puppet strings again or roll yeah. my yeah. other. Though, hold on. I think there's going to be a roll to do something here. Uh, do you want to go... You're going to go aggro on someone. No, I really don't want to go aggro on anyone because I have a negative two. <laughs> manipulate. I really just want to manipulate the shit out of them. Like, the way I've rolled Pity, Pity does not fight. Mm-hmm. Pity gets mm-hmm. other people to fight. Well, she okay, but like... you want to reach out and actually touch him. Sultry what if he's already he, he's looking right at you, and uh, roll your um, she could seductively walk roll, up roll to your, him. Roll, to roll your roll your manipulate then yeah. to, to disarm him, or or else you're gonna have to roll to go aggro, which is you get to roll weird instead of so, hot. Right? Yeah, what well, I can roll hot, but I can roll weird instead. Yeah, do it. Go for it. The gouge. So that's an eight, and then nine, that's a, ten. Yeah. That's a ten. So oh, nice. Yeah. You do. Yeah. As, 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 he he stops in mid talk as you stand up, mm. and you're like, ambiguously androgynous, blonde, bleached hair comes down. Yeah. Technically, what I just rolled is unnatural lust transfiction. <laughs> yeah. And and he kind of he stops he stops accusing you of things as you walk right up to him with this laser focus, and you bring your hand up to his chin. Yeah. And now are you puppet stringing him as well? Yeah, we're gonna puppet string him Fuck. now. Like she Ooh, that's a bad one. <laughs> yeah. That's a bad one. That isn't going anywhere, and there is yep. no one in this room who can help you out. <laughs> Suddenly, a paralyzer by finger eleven starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> on a miss, <laughs> you inflict <laughs> harm on your subject <laughs> to no benefit. Yeah, so I just hurt him. <laughs> so there's, there's Which actually works. There's in this no scenario. there's no implanted command. She just walks up and touches his chin, and he stumbles back and starts holding his head and he just starts like crying to himself as blood is coming <laughs> oh, out of his ears. Geez. Everyone starts to crowd really around. And are you gonna are you gonna leave the <laughs> bar while this is happening? Yeah, while well, everyone is looking at him, Pity just walks, you know, <laughs> not not quickly, just makes their way out of the bar. And the camera Can pans I, up out of the street. Do, do you want to do something, Steve? I was saying like as, uh, as she's walking out of the bar, I'm kind of now like I've sort of like I've dealt with the head situation, the van situation, and I look across the way and I see her. Can I? Uh, do you want me to roll to read a sitch, or do I just know based on our history? It'd be like, I know she oh did God, something in there. Oh God, you're in the bar again. I'm not gonna need to roll for it. I want, <laughs> no. so what do you want to do with the scene? I just basically just want to. Is there anything we want to do before we go? I, it's just again. a small little mini thing. I just basically just want to look at, uh, look over at her, cross my arms, and just be like. <sighs> You have to how do you sorry? Though? How do you deal with a head situation? Like, did you have a rumbling only heads could satisfy? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and that is the second law. I haven't got to that. I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> the camera pans away from the Church of Sanctuary, <laughs> goes through the ruined city, <laughs> and arrives very full. <laughs> at our at our parked vehicles. Now, as you've arrived near the encampment of the old gang, 
Now, we were setting up in the last episode how we want this operation to go. Mm -hmm. um, where are we starting with this, uh, with, the, with, with the encampment? <clears throat> all right, so... As you come into them, they've all set up in an old strip mall. They've set up in, inside a inside a in, mall. In, in, well, a strip mall, like not not in a mall, but like one of those like outdoor parking lots with the small stores and like a laundromat and it'll like okay. it's like a connected building with right. a bunch of small storefronts. Um, and there's a collapsed uh, 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 like high rise apartment that's kind of come down behind it. Okay. Um, and so it's created Ooh. this like. It's created, a, a, in a way, a natural defensive barrier, so they're not, they don't have their—no one's going to sneak up behind them because of all the rubble that's behind. Right. And so then they set up this uh, this area, and in the what would have been the parking lot, um, the uh, the strip mall is like a, a, an L shape. Um, they've okay. uh, they've got an old washer or dryer that they've turned into like a, f a barrel fire, and, yeah. uh, and they got a spit going. They've got some creature that they're they're cooking up. And um, and there's a, a small fire set up, and there's a, a perimeter of guards going around. And everyone's got their bikes parked against one of the stores. So this would be the street here. And uh, the the they right. turned the laundromat into essentially a barracks where they're sleeping. Now. And the laundromat's where they are. Yeah, in Perfect. Okay. central. But then there's like other small stores and a few guards. And around. the laundromat's kind of in like the center area of this, like about yep. there-ish. Yeah. Perfect. Exactly. All right. And then there would have been what would have been all this is the debris is behind convenience the stores L and of charter shops. shops and stuff, but it's all rotted out now. Okay. And the, the, the high rise that's fallen over has kind of landed behind the L of shops exactly. here. Exactly. Okay. And the, the streets out here. Okay, good. And then we've got you got a perimeter that they've set up with just uh, small pieces of stone and rebar and okay, so they've yeah they've they've built they've themselves got, like a fence. They've got watchmen set up because again, this is a group Perfect. of like almost fifty people, so okay. it's a big parking lot, and they got their bikes parked right up now. there, and, and then, then, then that's the laundromat, the and that's where they stay, and then there's a and then that's and then the, got guys the fire. Around and, okay, and good. Some of them are, are one guy's got an old guitar out, and they've got a you know uh, this big old looking raccoon thing that they're cooking up food. Raccoon thing. Good. Well, um, it's not a raccoon anymore. Non, are there nondescript raccoon thing? So maybe there's the. I want to say skeever, but the the <laughs> rubble of the collapsed building, the L of shops and their little base, and then continuing off in that direction. Are there any high rise buildings over here? Any tall buildings in that direction? Yeah, and there's also like an elevated gardener style road. Um, road. Okay. Right, and it's collapsed in parts, but you've got like. Where the, the the overpass kind of comes and it's broken down, so you've got okay. some cover. That so there's you've like a there's like a highway. Underneath. There's like a raised up highway that's like overlooks this yeah. area. Yeah, and it's one of it's a, it's a it's a natural sort of camouflage where you're able to bring up either the humdrum or the fun bus, and you've you've put that into a place where they can't see where you are. You're at a lower ground behind some rubble. Okay. You can send up. Uh, you could send up one of uh, the patrons, either Baumgartner, Anderson, or Neeson, and they can go up and scout ahead. Uh, they don't have anything like night vision, but again, okay. they've got they've they've got the place lit up with fire, so it it it, it sticks out. It's why sticks you're able out, to find yeah. it. The, okay. These guys aren't afraid of their surroundings. So, They're not hiding, so no, absolutely, they were not. easy to find. I and have... uh, also, right in the center, of course, <laughs> they've got the battle tank. Oh yeah, and then they and then they've put the tank there because every night they turn it on, they rev the engine, they shoot the caliber missiles into the air, and they just like make a noise. And that's going to be you know if you remember what time it is, it's going to be happening pretty soon. Uh, two, oh, quick, good, two quick good, questions. Good. good uh, what time good, of night good. is this? This is before or after the van. Uh, um, this is after the this van. This is after, uh, if you wanted to send out a radio to them. Um, but again, like I've mentioned in the last episode, they've been using some kind of jamming, so there's no guarantee that the signal right, will reach. Right. Okay. Um, but it, 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 about an hour after they left, and it took them about an hour to two to get where they're going, um, the, the delivery van arrived at Sanctuary. Okay. Okay, um, so. Then I would have, yeah, I would have sent out a message. So, of course, no sign of the delivery van. No sign of the delivery van, though. Um... What I would like from a actually, you know what? No, I'm just gonna I'm gonna lay out my plan here, and and we'll just kind of go with that. Because at the end of the day, even if they have nothing from the delivery van, we still got a lot of resources. Well, they got the battle yeah. tank, and um, they're a problem. They for the stole city. our battle tank. Yeah. And you see at the top of the tank is that big old turret with that big old Gatling gun. <sighs> I want. I need that. All feeds it in. <laughs> she will be mine. Uh, oh she, yes. Oh yes. She oh yes. Will be mine. She will be mine. So here's I gotta I have a plan. I um, want you to want this as a, as an extension. <laughs> Of uh, of using the uh, poop gas grenades that I that I had devised from earlier. <laughs> That's what we're going to formally call them. That's what we're going to formally call these things. <laughs> poo gas. 
Poo gas. Uh, here's here's the kicker. Poo gas. G A U S. Um, <laughs> oh lord. If you guys yeah, yeah. if you guys park your vehicles at the uh, base of the highway, like the base of the highway overpass, like a little distance off, and then use the side of the highway as cover so that you can move up into a higher position here. And so then that way you'll have not only cover, but also elevation, which will allow you to hit these guys easier with your weapons. Okay. I will sneak around behind through the rubble here because they think that rubble's going to cover their back, and it's not. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to climb through this rubble onto the top of the laundromat that they're using as a barracks. I'm going to see if I can put one of the gas grenades into the Atmo feed that's in the, uh, the thing, and it will flood gas out of all of the dryers that they've got inside the laundromat system. Mm. All they need to do is put one of the grenades in there and then turn it on reverse which shouldn't be too hard and I might be able to use the power that runs in my arm to run the fans. Who I don't know. knew that giving this guy a basement would allow him to really do all this? <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. if uh, once they start freaking out, yeah. they're going to run out of the laundromat here in which case then you guys can open fire on them. While they're focusing on you as you're firing on them, I can jump down and throw a gas grenade into the tank. Okay. Then, um, I'll, I guess I will stand Overwatch then. Okay, great. Is there a role that goes for that, or do you just declare that you're standing Overwatch for now? Actually, there, there is, is a role. Um, normally I roll cool, but I have Battle Hardened, which means I can roll hard. Because uh, that's what I do, I roll hard. So, I got 7 plus 3 is 10. Is <laughs> it's under Battle Moves. So... Under oh, tactical and support moves. Because <laughs> I have a hold. What I want to do is just be like, he gives you this plan as you guys are going there. He hands you this poorly drawn map on a shitty piece of paper <laughs> and then just like slows the car down a little bit, opens the door and just gets out. <laughs> <laughs> and you just see him turn into an alleyway and then vanish. And if you get up to the top of the road, I want to use the hold to be like, you look down and he's on the roof. Yeah. Of the so, just how, did you, uh, the how did you How did you roll, Nisa? <laughs> Or Nelson? I got 10. You got 10. So <laughs> if lunatic. anyone attacks or interferes with Dr. Gold, you will attack them and inflict harm as established, as well as being able to warn your ally. Uh, on a 10 plus, you get to choose, and you inflict your harm before they can carry out the attack, or and you inflict terrible harm, which is plus one harm. Um, I will choose. You, you choose that at the moment of the interference. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Which you got that, so you have a hold that you can carry over. Right. And uh, since I rolled hard, then I gain experience, yes, correct? Yes, you do. Okay. And what are we doing with Magnolia? Uh, I am going to keep an eye out. Okay, would you like to also stand overwatch? Well, no, keep an eye out is an actual... Oh, keep an eye out for what's coming. Yep, that's a sharp roll. Okay. So, um, so I'm basically watching him through the scope of my sniper mm -hmm. rifle. <laughs> and meanwhile, the angel is keeping an eye out. And what did you roll, Cass? Uh, seven. Uh, a seven. Seven uh, to nine, it says hold two. Yeah, that's still a hit. Uh, uh, you get to hold two. Um, and you get to, during the battle, you can spend your hold one for one to ask me questions from that list. Uh, which is direct a PC's ally attention to an enemy. If they make a battle move against that enemy, they get plus one choice to their move. Uh, give a PC ally an order or instruction or suggestion. If they do it, they get plus one to any rolls they make in the effort. And you get to direct any ally's attention to an enemy. And if they attack that enemy, they'll inflict extra harm. Uh, and you also get to direct an ally's attention to danger. They'll take negative one <laughs> harm from that danger. So you have two holds in the coming battle mm -hmm. that you can then use out of that list. Okay. And you can spin that during the, the battle to come. Cool. So basically what this means is I when when the battle happens, I've made them aware that this is happening so they're slightly more prepared. And uh, hard holder commander. Yes, I was about to what say. What order would you like to give to the three members of the patrons that are there? Um, well, it does say actually I could be able to look uh, it says look up seize by force when I get a chance. And mm -hmm. uh, I think I might oh. uh, use that. Because I can, I because uh, the variation is I can assault a secure position. Yeah, keep yep. hold on something you have, fight your way free, or defend someone else from attack. Yeah. You will basically be treating for the purpose of this battle to come, yes. rather than it being in my place or the other players. Over the radio from your office, you will be directing the moves of your gang as if they were an equipment that you were that you were able to roll for. Okay, so <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Remember, for uh, for the rest of this, uh, you guys all get plus one to your rolls. 
Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Don't well, forget. Snap. Yeah, because of advice. often or right. Okay. Because uh, we're um, it, it, not all the roll just towards the specific suggestion that you gave. They yes. get one plus one forward. So it's not okay. for the whole situation. Well, it's just if but one this plus is one plan. On, on any rolls that they make doing this plan. Oh, okay. Doing the thing. Yeah. Well, uh, shit. Can, then... That's a pretty nice <laughs> yeah. little but, umbrella but, statement there. Well, it's <laughs> just like any... Well, I mean, it's like if you guys... You guys don't have to follow the thing, and if you deviate from the plan, you don't get plus one, but I if mean, you're... we're doing the plan. If you're doing the plan, yeah. then... You, you know what? To keep it fair, the, he, the, the, the plus one to the, the actual PCs... But yeah. because I'm like I'm the one giving the commands, I don't have that plus one. All right, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I would say often or right, you're right. The plan um, in the future, I don't care about this time. This is awesome. Yeah, sure. Should be specific. Yes. To a specific move or or order, not like a chain of moves. It doesn't snowball into other things. So it's okay. like I'm going in here. I'm doing this. Okay. Right. All right. All right. Yeah. So do you want me to roll? So yeah, you okay. want. Well, right now there's nothing. What What well, are you What are you doing? And, and then we'll roll for it if <laughs> if, if it requires and triggers. So basically, so it sounds like it's uh, essentially like kind of like they need a distraction. Well, like, Trevor, correct? Get a home run. Do they need a distraction? Do they need a distraction, or are you just like want to completely take them by surprise? I want to take them by surprise. So you don't want to, like uh, them to sort of be. No. Okay. Oh no, we're okay I mean, for now. We, they're hiding we, by we the can fun bus. Provide a distraction. Yeah, they're if we they're need to, they but... parked the fun bus at the base of the uh, the highway overpass, and they've kind of moved up to the top of it where they're overlooking now the the, the sort of block of shops. That so if there. you need them to run in, you have them at your disposal. Yeah, yeah and I the, have the, the uh, plan basically was, when I do this thing, then they open fire down on the guys during okay. the distraction. So, so okay, so when that yeah. happens, I will roll assault. Also, keep in mind Sweet. you can also use subterfuge moves if you want to draw them out. You can use your man as bait. You can use them uh, as cat I and mouse. I prefer not to use them as bait because I have a very limited amount of people. Yes. You also only have another hour and a half left in gameplay, so <laughs> burn them if you've got them. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, I things can happen. Yeah, yeah, we're into the final. Laughing. We're into the final twenty minutes. So let's right. let's get this thing going. Um, okay. You want to uh, sneak in? Uh, oh, here you want to. I was going to use my hold to to get me started on the roof. Okay, so now we we cut to you're already there. And yeah, you've got like, the equipment you they, need. They they get up to the top of the overpass and then uh, the uh, gun haver <laughs> <laughs> looks out through his scope and then you just see on the top of the laundromat he's sneaking, sneaking <laughs> that's, along that's with a, a bag full of pipe there. bombs. Yeah, and he looks like a fucking idiot while he's doing it. Cause mm-hmm. it's, it's not his element at all. Um, Moves up to that huge fan system that they usually have on the roof um, that leads down into all of the dryers because all the dryers feed out through the the, the main uh, exit vent. Mm-hmm. So I want you to roll cool, though, as you're trying to do this in a way that's going to get you through without attracting any attention. Okay. You're, like, you're under fire in a way of the circumstance of the, 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 totally the stealth. Fine. I'm going to try I've got a negative one on my cool. Uh, but I get experience for that. You get experience for it as well. Okay, yeah. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cross that up. Move out. Question: When Bang. I rolled uh, sharp Seven. for my keep an eye out, Seven? does that incur uh, experience Six as well? Is it a highlighted oh, stat? Yes. Every Seven. time you okay. roll for that stat. Sweet. Mm. Uh oh. What'd you get? We got, got a seven. seven. I got a with that negative one. one. I've got six. Um, does the plus one okay. work on yourself? <laughs> I told myself to sneak, <laughs> and I'm sneaking. It is part of the plan. Would I not get yeah, a no, plus I... one for, for doing part of the plan? Uh... You will, but on a seven to nine, you will hesitate. And I can offer you a worse outcome, a hard bargain, or an ugly choice. I'm not supposed to say that. I'm just saying that for the yes. listeners at home. I um, a funny idea. Oh boy. <laughs> How this could go awful. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you drop right. the ball. No, because he, goes off he gets off to the top there, and he like gets ready. One of them like uh, you know activates a timer on it, sticks it in the thing. No. You come around. I'm offering you a hard bargain. It, this oh, yeah. plan wasn't perfect. Yeah. You got in, and as you see around, <laughs> as you come over the vent, you look down. You see that it's actually not exactly a barracks. It's also a holding cell for hostages. Oh. Uh. No. This is the ugly choice. Ooh. How lethal are these? Are they no? They're lethal. Bombs. It's it's methane and other awful shit mixed. So in. no one knows oh, you're fuck. there. No one knows you're there. You're still sneaky, sneaky. But the plans changed. The plans changed drastically. Kind of like look over and there's the there's like the the sort of like 
uh, barrel fire that they've got that's just over the edge where I'm standing. Yeah, on and one roof. guy's uh, getting ready to head over to the tank and rev it up for the night, and they're sending off uh, a patrol to just do another perimeter search. And you realize if you don't act soon, that patrol is going to sweep Someone. over where the portray- uh, the patrons are currently uh, set out, and they don't see them coming around Shit. their blind spot. Okay, yeah, and he, he's going to sweep up on the highway. So you need to make a decision. Fuck. Do can they have people in the cells that I can see? You All you see are uh, they're bound and gagged with hoods. Um, but you so you can, can tell, you tell they're gagged, well you can't tell they're gagged. you can tell that they're hooded and they're bound at the wrists depending on the hood um, they could be gagged over the hood and you don't um, true. Uh, true. you can't uh, you I mean they're obvious that they're not members of the gang how many do I see uh, four of them one of them looks quite small how many gang members it's, are outside outside uh, by the campfire there's seven including one on the spit. Uh, an eighth one who's heading towards the tank, and then there's patrol members uh, oh, numbering. There's patrol members. Is about there anybody nine. inside the laundromat with the hostages? Yeah, they're next to the cell. Is what you could see from the outside is the sleeping rooms, and there there's other members that are are in their bunks. So they sleep in the there's just a back room here that you're looking into on the vent, and the patrol is now heading out. That way. Is he close enough and to got, drop? Um, one of the poo bombs into the tank, rendering it unusable. No, it's a waste for me. It's the a waste. The, He's on the, the other side of the campfire. Yeah, He's the tank is it. on the other side of the campfire. Like basically, well, we've already saying, like to give I'm you a sense of scale, there's where the motorcycles are all parked in the corner. So he's got a almost a half of a parking lot. I mean. One player to another. You You're the only them. one who knows there are hostages. That's in true. There. You yeah, don't I know. ever have to tell them. No, I know. And uh, so, I was, like originally, what I was what I was thinking would be funny is if he's like on the roof, sticks the bomb in the vent, turns it on, and then the gas like floods the room and then comes outside and goes towards the fire, and he's just like, oh no, because <laughs> <laughs> this gas is flammable. Yeah, um, oh no, <laughs> and it would blow oh, up. I thought the that was mat. part of the plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I was just like, you could gas people out. That It'd be sounds fine. Sounds like a better plan. <laughs> no, no, I know, so that's why he's just kind of standing. Up there, like, says the okay, gun haver. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's less likely to kill the hostages and more likely to kill the people gathered around the fire. Yep. This is this is ultimately. Uh, Dr. Do Gold's I have any guns with me? Do I have any guns on me? Would, would that make sense? You have your handgun, right? You, yeah. You, you have you have a weapon that was part of your gear. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would, uh, like when things like that happen, if everyone's okay with that being like, oh, we didn't the explain default. it, you can yeah. just if it's reasonable for you to have Idea. it. If you yeah, yeah. okay, that it's night. Sense to me. Um, quietly, I'm going to like uh, Goldman takes out two of these bombs instead, and then arms them and tosses them like as silently as he can, like up into the air. Uh, and then takes cover down next to the hole in the roof. So you're not putting it in the vent anymore? No. Uh, these are going to land here and here, so a little ways on both sides of the fire drum that's there. Um, tactical support move. Uh, I want to say... When the gas goes off, that should catch a lot of their people in the gas, and Would... then when the gas reaches the fire, it's going to ignite that entire parking lot. I'm going to say that's going to be a hard roll. Hard roll? Yeah. For you to be able to get that... I've got I've got plus nothing on hard. Oh, you can still do it. Come on. Da, 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 six. Oh. Uh. Or 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 would this be a something seizing by for, force or assaulting a secure position? I'd say reading a situation. Or do you want to read a situation? Oh yeah, this has yeah. gotten this has gotten because he just this saw that there's like there's two people there. Yeah like, yeah yeah no no you're you're absolutely right. This scene yeah. got completely charged. So you read the situation. Roll sharp. Do you want to re-roll that? Sure. I'll you go ahead sharp. and re-roll that. Uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, fucking. Oh, that's eight, much better. Ten. So you get uh, an experience. You get you get you get oh, yeah, take take plus one <laughs> um, on a ten plus. Uh, whenever you act on the MC's answers, you get to take plus one on a ten plus. You get to ask three of the questions from that list on reading a situation. Do you have the list? Uh, right here? Yeah, the reading. A, well, I have it on one of these. Things. Okay, yeah. so. Oh yeah, it's right there. Uh, you stabbed me <laughs> with your pencil. <laughs> Um, okay. Your best escape route, enemy's the most vulnerable, biggest threat, should I be on the lookout for, what's my enemy's true position, who's in control here? uh, So, three questions. One, who's in control here? The eighth man heading towards the tank is Hastings. That's Hastings. Yeah. You recognize him from the wanted posters in the sanctuary. Okay, cool. Um, Two, what's my best escape route? Your best escape route will be out the back and through the rubble. Okay, so back out through the rubble. You can't the way take I a vehicle in. through it, but you'll be able to go through there. I There's could run no out, yeah. one patrolling the back area. 
Um, okay. Which enemy is most vulnerable? Yeah, and... Or enemy's true position. Those are both what's, it, what's the enemy's true position at this point? The enemy's true position is, uh, so far, you, you've got the best vantage point. You're correct. Yeah. You've got... Most of them are asleep in the barracks. Few are out by the campfire. There's a number of patrolmen uh, at the... Um, and women at the fences. And there's packs of three... Making patrols oh, on, on the, the perimeter. perimeter. So they, and they're moving in groups And if of you three. don't distract them soon, they're going to find your people that are hiding. Okay. Um, so then, yeah, um, what he does then is he like stands and throws two bombs out and tries to land them on either side of the fireplace. Yeah. Because uh, then when they go off, I mean, they're going to spread gas all over that parking lot. But then once the gas reaches the, the, the fire in the center, it should ignite and light a lot of that stuff up. Take a forward on the roll. You still have to roll hard. This is okay. a version of seizing something by force. What's, which what's is take a forward? What's that do for me? Plus one to your roll. Oh, plus one. Okay, sweet. Yeah. And you're going to, uh, this is, uh, you're not fighting your way free, you're not defending someone, but I am saying you're uh, you're assaulting a secure position. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yes, I, yes, I fucking am. Oh my god. Six, if with the plus one is only it's six. It's a seven. So. Oh, it's only no. a seven with the plus, it's a six with the plus one? Yes. So That's you, a two and a three. You're going to toss it. And one of them goes right into the campfire. (laughs) (laughs) I was trying to land them next to the campfire. So one of them goes next to it. One of them lands right in. One of them, yeah. So, so you toss them, the and 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 it goes into the campfire. And as we know, this thing, you you realize like. You're gonna have to take cover. <laughs> yeah, he just throws up. One of them goes to the fire, and he just goes, "Oh no!" <laughs> <laughs> Shits away. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and just as you go to take cover, uh, I'm not gonna have. Uh, you know, no, I'm like watching through a sniper rifle. I was like, that so wasn't the what plan. What the fuck <laughs> is he <laughs> doing? <laughs> Should I have you? I don't want to have you take any harm uh, from this, but I do want you to. Do take... I fall in through the hole in the roof? <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm, yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm going to say that. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the, this place is an old ruin, and this was a very, as you bragged about, a potent explosive. Yep. And uh, and and it hits the, the 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 campfire. You guys are all on watch on the outside. Uh, you're keeping an eye out. You got this, and you see the uh, gun uh, gun logger. You see the you you track the uh, the grenade into the. You're like, uh, uh, that wasn't. Uh, <laughs> that isn't and what you, was going to and do. then there's a flash through yeah. your scope. Oh. And the shockwave knocks like all the all the motorcycles are down. Fuck. The, the seven oh. guys right by the campfire are, are blowing to pieces. Just dead. <laughs> he's foiled by his, his own. Getting poop. into the ca- into the tank and he's blowing into the tank. Oh shit. Um, but he's he's all, he's he's Does not, that not, he's not dead. Out? But nope. he's like he's winded from this. Okay. So and, he's stunned um, at least. And on the the patrols immediately stop and they're like getting gun they're getting down and and there's some yelling going on but none of that matters for Dr. Gold because it the, the, it takes out the support pillars right oh. next to because the campfire is right near the edge of the yeah, of the right shop the, the and it takes that and the whole ceiling collapses down like a sandcastle <gasps> oh. and you're just oh. pulled down into the ceiling and it just kind of like turns to like like, a, like an <laughs> avalanche you're just does rolling into on it on top of the hostages does it and hurt the hostages? Like, so. it's, well you were you were there was the the, the, the the hostages are in a room and the ceiling where you're on came down over the barracks. Oh. oh. And you're now down, but you're rolled up into... The barracks. Into a bunch of waking up mercs now, who just had a ceiling land on them. Now, I'm... No, the, so the, the fucking roof caves in and I roll into where the barracks is. Am I now separated by a wall between me and the hostages? Yes. Okay. Am so I As well as you see, you see him, a gun lugger, disappear into the ceiling, into the barracks. And everyone's so, like, oh, yeah, get him, get him. So no, I can't no. cover him anymore, is what you're saying. <laughs> oh, you can, you're still keeping an eye out. You can take, uh, if anyone's doing harm, which is up to you, to, uh, people that are running towards, well, you could shoot at. You said, like, like mercs are starting to wake up near him, and I'm trying to protect him. There's about 10, him, 15 guys in this barracks. And I see barracks. the mercs that are near him. You see dust, because there's so, a massive explosion, but you see the patrolman running towards the camp, and you don't see Hastings, but you can hear him yelling from the other side of the tank. I thought he was stunned. He Well, he's stunned, but he can still yell out orders where he's okay. like, hey, everybody get out of the fire! Yeah, he's, he's yelling We're over under the, attack! He's yelling over the ringing in his ears. Now, here's the kicker. Do I still have at least one gas bomb left with me? Yes. Because <laughs> I'm wearing a gas mask. 
Of course you are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, dear. that's on my gear list, is, yep. and that's part of his usual outfit. Is he just rolls into the barracks, yeah, now that. separated from the rest of the. You're hostages. a bit of a hypochondriac, Sweet and you don't go Jesus. out. You don't go out of your sanctuary without the gas mask on. Yeah. So he just kind of like tumbles okay, in, I'm... sits up, and there's a bunch of dudes looking at him, and he just goes, "What would you like to do, Tom?" Like, I'm going to snipe <laughs> um, the one who's closest to the compound. Okay. And I'm just going to roll to for, for the guys reasons. to First, assault the secure position as well. I'm doing this okay. for two reasons. Reasons. One, because he's the most likely to get to uh, Goldman, and I want to prevent that. The second reason is because all the other people will be able to see him go down. Okay. So, are you gonna go, you're gonna go aggro on the mercenaries that are running towards the barracks? Yeah, the one in the very front of them, so okay. they'll all see him drop. Roll hard. Okay. Uh, do you want me to give the result of mine? Get you in a second. We're okay. just gonna have sure. him fire the sniper. Sure, of course. Okay. Okay. Five plus three is eight. So on a seven to nine, you choose one of the above. They can choose one of the above or one of the following. Um, force your hand and suck it up, which is, uh, oh, this right. is go aggro on someone. Make it clear you want them to do uh, what you want them to do and what you'll you do. Oh, no, you want to sucker someone. You're, you're attacking someone unsuspecting yeah. or helpless. They have no right. idea there's a sniper on them. So um, you treat it as a going aggro, but the victim has no choice to cave. Uh, you simply inflict harm as established. So, um, get the hell out of your way, barricade yourself securely, and keep yourself. So this is just cave and do what you want. So you, you're, you're, they're just gonna have to suck up the damage. Yeah. So you just they just deal the inflicted harm. So absolutely, you rolled a hit, and yeah. you get to you get to uh, fire off one hit. And okay. and, and uh, what is the amount of harm that was on your gear? Three. It was fucking. So that's it. <laughs> it you, the guy's going, but Splattered. because it was a it was a hit, not a, not a critical hit. Right. Um. The the. The noise is going to direct the attention it's to silenced. your... It's silenced? It says uh, it's a silenced sniper rifle. It's very high-tech. Okay, then. Never mind. Well, it's nighttime. What about muzzle flash? Not on a, not on a silencer. Yeah, you're if right. If you have a suppressor, it actually it suppresses that. It keeps the flash and the noise down. Uh, okay, then. You still so, hear the... Well, this guy shit. is just struck down by an act of God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if that guy that got shot, though, is in a group of people, the, like if there's the other people with is, him, they're going to be want, running, you want to attack guy the guy. <laughs> you want to attack the guy right at the front, right? Yes. And, I, and like, so that they would do what? Well, um, so they would notice him go down, and um, and rather than run into the compound, they're going to have to all uh, worry about whoever's shooting them from behind. Okay. And so on a 7 to 9, power. you take the guy out. He's yes. dead. However, they think the shooting's coming from inside. Okay. And they're like, he's got a gun! And they're all like, and they just start opening fire <laughs> into the barracks. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm so oh, we're going to work roll, my experience. Right. Quick roll thing, cool. Quick thing. The last roll that I made topped out the amount of experience that I got. Um, so on the list that's down there, I was going to pick a new Savvy Head move. That being Spooky Intense. It, it, improvements don't happen like they should happen after the scene. Okay. Okay. You've got the experience, you'll cash it in at the end of the scene. Okay. 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 However, okay. Actually, however, so this, however this we help. got the, the angel wants to get in and the, and the, and the hard hold. Right? You guys want to have some moves? I've got holds. Yeah. I've got holds I've, uh, I've, I've got holds for battle. Yeah. And so. I have uh I rolled a, a, a 10 on my roll so I can do If only you'd kept your bone feel for this scene. You could have gotten yourself out no problem. <laughs> so I could have got myself out of there, yeah. I can just do this really quickly for mine. Basically, I'm going to defend someone else from attack. So uh my three the three guys are going to be defending you. Um so I get to choose three out of the uh, list here. So I'm going to choose to defend um uh to protect you so that you don't take harm. Okay. Uh plus uh, you impress dismay. How does that work? Because again, they're not in the parking lot. They're laying down covering fire. They're laying down covering fire so that they, uh, so they're not. They're they're trying to shoot at. Because it only works if you can explain it in the narrative. Okay. It yeah. yeah. They're, so the, so they're, oh, yeah, they're no, firing so. at the guys who are firing are going to fire at the building at him. Yeah. Would you say it is suppressing fire? Suppress. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Sorry. <laughs> I can I can figure the so word. So they start Thank laying you. into. So they're suppressing into fire. The crowd and they're suppressing um, fire. And I and I <laughs> uh, successfully frighten them. Um, and then I also inflict terrible harm. What did you roll to get that? A 10. So I got to choose three. <laughs> on what? On uh, seize by force. On defending someone from attack. And, yeah. Uh, so on I could. I wanted to choose, yeah, I take def definite and undeniable control. You impress, control. dismay, or frighten your enemy. But whether that happens, the three of those is up to me to interpret. Okay. Um, so you, uh, 
uh, yeah, you, you, you sure you frighten them. All of a sudden, they're like, "There's an army here." <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, there's a massive explosion. The building's gone down. One of the lieutenants just got their head blown out. And now there's like suppressing fire coming from two different directions. Cass, you have a hold that you. Want I do to spend. have a hold, and I wanted to use it to uh, to direct any allies' attention to an enemy if they attack. Th- or sorry, um, direct any allies' attention to a danger. Sorry, that's the one. They take minus one harm from that danger. Um, <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> no, okay, so actually, so does that, wait, so I'm not there, though, so I'm not directing Connell's attention to a danger. You I'm, have a radio, you've got, you can yell. Um, <laughs> the roof caves in, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! So, I mean, so I, I, I can, I can, explosion. <laughs> I can see that the people from outside are trying to shoot Inside, right? Yeah. They start opening fire onto like the smoke and the rubble. They're, yeah. They're shooting their own guys, right? Like yeah. they've gotten so they're and frightened, they're disordered. Hostages. And, okay. and and possibly even the hostages. All they know is that they're maybe one of the hostages is trying to escape. They don't really know what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Like, this is like a prison break. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so that. So I'm gonna call his attention to the fact that people are shooting and trying to shoot him from outside or shooting into the barracks. Okay. Um, you can tell. I can tell. <laughs> there are bullets. Yes, thank you. I'm They're aware. filling the house with lead. Now, after the after the roof sort of caved and separated me from the hostages, though, and I rolled into the barracks with the rest of the guys, I wanted to have uh, Goldman literally just like sort of mark roll. one harm from that. It's just Actually, like a you know, you know what? I will, and that's I marked that here, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's okay. You just you go from twelve o'clock to three o'clock. There we go. Yeah. Uh, he just, like, stands up and sort of just hands the armed gas grenade to someone and be like, hold this for me. And then he just keeps walking. And the guy's still, he's waking up, he's Exit. dazed, he doesn't know what's going on. Is this primed to explode? Yeah. Clank, clank. Did you, did you light the fuse on this? <laughs> yes. That's why he literally just rolls up, gets up, arms it, hands it to a person, and just through the gas mask, he's like, hold this for me. And then he starts <laughs> lomping away. <laughs> and so, if, it, if like, when it goes off in, like, three seconds, it's going to fill that whole What's area of gas. What's your hot stat at? My hot? Uh, hot's at plus one. Roll it. <laughs> Well, it's a fast you're talk. You're fast someone. talking. Yeah, yeah, just like you're surprised. manipulating. Yeah, no, that's true. You just want them uh, to hold the grenade. That's all you want them to do. Yep. I mean, uh, five, five might plus take, one. You keep getting six. Yeah, yeah, I keep rolling only he sixes. I mean, it doesn't. Because he did just fall through I've the been scene. giving him too many surprises. <laughs> um, I mean, does it matter? Like, the NPC or the PCs are prepared for the worst. So you hand him the grenade, and he sees a loaded grenade. He does not hold it. He throws it. Away from him. Where does he throw it? Where does he throw it? Does he throw it does into he throw the it? building? Does he, he throw it? He passes it, out? it to does another th- one yeah, of does, the soldiers. Does he throw it? <laughs> like a freaking hot potato <laughs> situation. <laughs> Shit. Like, I was gonna say, like he either throws it to another because we're walled off from the hostages. So either he throws it to another person in the barracks, or he throws it out the front of the building to the people that are shooting at us. <laughs> he tosses it under one of the beds and okay. dives. And then dives. And the thing still goes off. It's a gas grenade, yeah. yeah. So it doesn't explode so much as it goes and starts spewing shit gas everywhere. <laughs> Literal shit gas. Yes. Yeah. And they're all like grabbing for their masks and uh and, and and he goes to grab his rifle that was beside his bunk to shoot you. Shit. Y- you already have your have... guns out though, don't you? Or I see, I've got a, I've got a pistol with me. I could try okay. and draw and fire on him. Okay. Uh, um what do you do? Um, fucking, they're shooting you're not out in yet. the front. No, I'm you're, not. You're, you're trying to stomp your way through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm literally like, like fifteen guys. Trudge my way through. Um, <laughs> well, no, actually, sorry, we blew up like eight of them. Um, <laughs> yes. uh, six guys. The the patrol that's run back up where the where they were on the outside. They're opening fire, uh, and then you've got whoever survived the the collapse from the ceiling. It's hard to tell in the dust, but there's at least the one guy. He's coughing through the gas, but he's grabbing for his weapon and he wants to shoot you. Can I, I can... take cover somewhere? There's plenty of it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically try to take cover so you both wanna... from the fire outside and from the dude who's in here. So because... that's gonna be a cool. You're gonna do something under fire. Here. All right, I'm gonna try that. Okay. And when I have a chance, I'm gonna try to snipe a second guy. Yep. Uh, you can do that right now. Go ahead and okay. go for it. Um, nine minus one is eight. That's fine. Uh, on a seven to nine, you'll um, 
you're going to flinch or stall. I'm going to say your heavy, slow boot is stopping yeah. you from getting where you're going to go. Uh, but I can offer you that you know you're 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 going for this, and um, as you're stomping through, <laughs> the door to the hostage cell has been broken open from the collapsed ceiling, and they're still in there, tied and hooded and moving. And there's dust going on. And they're confused and they're screaming. And they're calling out for help, and you can clearly now tell that the smallest one is a child's voice. I'm going to try to take cover in there. I'm going to go for them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just as uh, he's, like, walking through the group of people, sees them, Tom? and then... I rolled six on my snipe. Okay, um, so you aren't going to hit them. You're going to hit um, one of the gas canisters on the motorcycle. And, oh, God. And More explosions. Another explosion goes off. And um, more structural damage to the building. Do I still get experience even though I failed the roll? Every time you roll for that stuff. Okay. Uh, however, what also happens is Hastings isn't in the tank, but the tank just revved up. The engine's turning on, the oh. lights around the outside are turning on, and the turret is moving out, and there's a big old Ooh. spotlight that's about to shine out. It shines out, and it's starting to go around. Move the fun bus. <laughs> well, the fun bus isn't with you guys. It's it's down the street. Uh, Steve, the spotlight has caught Harris, or uh, Baumgartner, Anderson, and Neeson. They, yeah. It's going there, and, and the Gatling gun is beginning to spin up. Um, also, you have no idea who's in the tank. You didn't see anyone enter the tank. Who's in the fucking tank, you guys? <laughs> so I could, I could roll the f- uh, fight my way free? What? Yeah. Yeah? Or you, can give, them, or you can give them the leadership... Light. Uh, hard roll to uh, put your back into it. Yeah, yeah. What do you want them to do? Because they're already like, we didn't come here to fight a tank. <laughs> <laughs> we um, gotta get out of here. And Von Gardner's uh, like, we gotta get Hastings, and he wants to go running in, and the other two want to go running away. I think that to, to just uh, yeah, put their backs into it, just kind of just. Boss, what do we do? They're using the tank. <laughs> yeah. What do we do? Pour on the mustard. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't have any of your uh, bombs. Do um, they? do they? No, I'm not gonna say that no. wasn't part of your plan. No, it was actually your, was not part of the plan. Your their plan was just hold. Uh. So they're they're on the radio, boss. What do we do? And you're okay, gonna I'm gonna roll the fight. Uh, the uh, to fight their way free, just to kind of get away. Okay. So let's see. So you're telling them to make a strategic retreat? Yes. Okay. So yeah. I guess the, no the, the three guys against the tank, that's probably not going to work out too well. Yeah. yeah, so the hard holder is pulling Ew. back your help. Uh, leaving you alone with the gang. Six. Well, so, uh, but it says it, on a miss, choose one. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> you know, because uh, uh, you on a miss, choose one, so I'm going to say uh, they suffer little harm. Uh, they suffer little harm, however, uh, they have lost complete control of their situation. They cannot escape from the scene as the uh, the, the spotlight is on them and yeah. uh, the, uh, uh, the, um, uh, Mini-gun's firing the mini gun is firing. They're completely suppressed. They can't get away. Yes. They're on the wrong side of the hill. So they're in cover, they're, but they're, they can't move. They're pinned. Yeah, yeah they're pinned. They're, they're pinned. pinned. So, okay. so um, they're not taking the harm, like you, because you get to pick that. But it means well, that they're they're currently uh, they've t- they've lost control of the of of, of the. Uh, 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 no, that's the good. Something that's good. And yeah, that's good. they're and they're frightened. Ooh. How high above um, everyone By am way, I? I, I now you're high experience. enough to get a, a, an vantage point on enough to have seen Hastings over the tank. Like, am I like a floor above, or am I like a few feet? Let's say you went onto the overpass. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he'd be up on the overpass, so yeah. you'd be easily maybe three, four stories so, up. So, yeah. So you're higher oh, well, than the that... strip mall. <laughs> you're looking down on the strip mall. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, then my That idea now has won't work. two explosions. <laughs> the building has collapsed. There's purple smoke coming out from the inside. There's gunfire going, and we're going to have to end on this <laughs> oh, as shit. the good doctor is, going, is being captured. By by the gang, you can't get to him. He's overwhelmed. Uh, the, the 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 guards of the patrons have been pinned down. Uh, the the angel and the gun lugger, you are outclassed. Uh, as uh, you hear over the speaker from inside the tank, Taser's voice. <laughs> Son of a surrender bitch. now. We'll let your man go. They're not going to let you go. Taser face. Taser face. See, if I was just a few feet up, 
<laughs> what I could do is and actually drop down. Do you want to go into the hostage stick room? Stick my shotgun in Dr. the Gold, tank. Dr. Gold, do you go into the hostage room and just close the door behind you? Yes. <laughs> so now you're you're in the room, but now yep. you're also one of the I'm hostages. Tra- <laughs> I'm like, the, the second he gets in there, closes the door, he's going to run over to people and start trying to use his robotic arm to tear their bonds open. Oh, yeah. Well, you can just lift the hoods off their faces. They're not... Tightly, they're bound enough, but it's it won't take. You could do it with a knife. Yeah, so um, he's just gonna start immediately freeing as many hostages as he so can. So you you free the ho- you see one of them has a, a, a like a coveralls with a, a patch name says Corbett on it, and oh, oh dude, and, and, nice. And, and he's there, and he lift off the hell uh, the hood, and he's like, "Are you here to rescue us?" <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Uh, by the way, a, a come, little bit. We'll come back next week to find out what the hell happens. <laughs> uh, by the way, we're, uh, we're an hour and a half. We're 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 over time. So. Wow. For the record, I actually gained enough experience. I was able to add a plus one to hard. So Don't I'm worry. Max. We're gonna we're gonna bring this down yeah, as, yeah. as 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 uh, the, the the battle comes to a, a stalemate. Uh, you, you've been captured. You've been the uh, people on the outside have been pinned down. But you, you will have a time to get that improvement while you like reload your guns, and clean off your boot, <laughs> fix your arm. Um, there we go. All right, cool. Uh, as uh, is, I, I would hope for each hour to be a different session, but it seems this is just the long night. Yeah. <laughs> is yeah. what this has become. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like it takes a bit to get some stuff done in this system, but it's good. I like it. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. I haven't done a whole lot. Lot. I'm but gonna I'm give both you and the brainer are gonna get some chances here because, I, I mean. It sounds like the good doctor needs an angel. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> so the two Seven of you, it's the rescue angel. mission now. It's rescue and retrieve. Yep. Um, so much for the project. Good luck getting that Gatling gun. <laughs> I'm going to get that gun. Yeah, but we got Hastings. So win-win? <laughs> What? We got Hastings? He, 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 we didn't I thought we shot them. No, he's <laughs> stunned. He was stunned. He's on the outside oh, of the tank. Stunned. Oh, stunned. Hastings is still, uh, he's still there, but uh, so is Taserface. The plus He's side still alive. Who well, I'm just gonna call Taser. Can we just call him Taser? Nah, because nah, Taser nah, face Taser is just face. straight from the movie. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, okay. For fine. Uh, so uh, for the second story episode of our Apocalypse World Sanctuary episode, uh, I've been your master of ceremonies, Justin Neacock, with uh, currently trapped with the prisoners that they you know. Good plan there, Doctor. I am Toronto's greatest supervillain and evil genius, Doctor Terawatt, sure. playing Jean Baptiste Emmanuel Goldman. The savvy head trapped in a building with some hostages. When did Jean Baptiste get thrown in there? Yeah, was I was gonna say, I missed that. Well, I, I decided to put that at the beginning of this game because his name was Emmanuel and it reminded me of Zorg from Fifth Element. And our bug lugger now. Uh, I'm Tom, he is an evil genius white from weird video games. I don't think the hard holder. I don't, I don't think the hard hold is going to give you some money now. I, I don't know if this is going to get you the barter you need. What do you mean? I think this is going this, great. This mission's gone tits up. This is exactly what you wanted. Uh, <laughs> running sanctuary over the, the thing. Your, your men are in trouble. Do you want to send in the reinforcements? They could figure it out on themselves. Oh. oh. <laughs> You're like President Shinra looking at Sector 7 through the glass dun, window. Dun, up against the tank. What dun, am I going to do? Dun, Does that make me Genova? <laughs> <laughs> the angel. The, there's going to be bad history in the next episode. Uh, Cassie, you're going to have to come to the rescue in the next episode. Oh, shit, dude. Hey, everybody. <laughs> you can do it. Go hard. Cassie D20 Love Chew as the angel Magnolia Stone as maybe going to have to save some asses. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then later, you just got to be creepy in a bar, but maybe you'll get involved in the main plot. Yeah, they left me at home. What up? <laughs> <laughs> Free poison. I was going to bring you along, but you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> you I think the brainer could be your cavalry. He's going to come ah. in. You just got your negotiator for the hostage situation. <laughs> I oh. am the negotiator here. <laughs> I read all your minds and I call it a psychic storm. Let me, let me shake your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's seal the deal with a handshake. <laughs> and, of course, this episode is being recorded in tandem with our campaign in Edmonton. They have an ongoing story going on in, on Thursday in... Uh, two weeks time we are going to be at Con Bravo where we're going to record the last episode I have a feeling we're still going to be at that strip mall and maybe we'll get uh, Shane and Derek to come rescue you uh, we'll see what happens in the next two hours Con Bravo <laughs> come hang out with us if you're going to be there in come Hamilton come hang but, out. the butt end of July in the butt end of July the come butt see butt end of Ontario in the butt end of Canada can we get the website uh, at that changed to butt at end Con of Bravo which is just it is not the butt it is it is oh, very yeah. it is the 
tit. I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best. It's a good one. No, no, no. Good it's it's, 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 it's the shit. <laughs> it's not the butt. It's the shit. Uh, and we're Is doing. Is that better? <laughs> sure. I've heard. I've heard people say things that are the tits is very good. I, I don't so know. we're gonna I say think, maybe it's the tits. We just got fired, guys. Like that's right. we're not allowed to cover. <laughs> <laughs> We've used so many body parts to describe that convention now. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I promise. It's an awesome time. If you're gonna be in Hamilton, come hang out with us. Come to the panel. It's gonna be fan fucking tastic. It is yes. not the armpit. Oh, you no. know what? <laughs> just as a tease into the next episode. Maybe it's time someone opens their world to the psychic maelstrom. Oh fuck! I was literally yes. about to uh, like spoiler. I was about to go to my hard. You still and be like, have a heavy. Do the thing. You still have a laser on top of sanctuary. <laughs> yeah, my my quote unquote laser that doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe it does. Oh shit! Maybe it does uh, if you work with a maelstrom. Uh, if I take reality's fraying edge instead of spooky intense as my next thing, then I could say that that's yeah what that is. Yeah, it's my. It, it's not a laser. It's a ray gun. We that got some time to mull over it. People. We got some. Laser face is gonna get a laser in the face. Yeah. Powered by the screams of the damned. Yes. We've gone over this. Yeah, it's basically like it's basically like basically like dead one. Or Deadlands. It's just like Deadlands, the soul stone rock that they they all use is everything's everything's scary. Take it away, Justin. The Terrible Warriors have new episodes every Tuesdays and Thursdays, and for the entire month of July, we are playing Apocalypse World. We'll return to Sanctuary again on Tuesday for one last episode before Con Bravo. And on Thursday, Derek the Bard and his Edmonton crew are playing the legend of Dapper Joe. They're also playing Apocalypse World, but because these games were recorded independently from one another, their tone is a little bit different. It's kind of fun to see them play the same game, but a completely different way. As the apocalyptic war on Christmas continues on Thursdays, and at the end of the month, live at Con Bravo, the legend of Dapper Joe will meet the campaign of Sanctuary as members of both the Toronto and Edmonton crew will come together live on stage to record the final combined episode of Apocalypse World live at Con Bravo. You can get your tickets now at conbravo.com where you won't just find the Terrible Warriors, you'll also come across epic game music James Ronald. You'll come across Anthony Sardina of Team Four Star, the Nostalgia Critic, and many more YouTube celebrities, video game developers, WWE superstars, Con Bravo, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, July 28th to the 30th. And for all updates, follow us on Twitter at Dice Warriors, and you can support the show at patreon.com slash terrible warriors. Today's terrible warriors and your denizens of sanctuary have been Steve Saylor, Connell Macbeth, Cassie Chu, Tom White, Bree Poison, and Justin Eacock. And we'll return to Sanctuary for one last episode before Con Bravo, again on Tuesday on the Terrible Warriors.